Consider a fat loop, a torus. You can split it in half with this spiraling cut, which makes three half turns as it goes around. This makes what topologists call the 3-2 torus knot, because you can think of wrapping a string on the surface, and it goes three times through the hole while going two times around the hole. And it's the same as the trefoil. If you travel along the split loop, it now takes twice as long to get back where you started. But more importantly, because of the twist to the cut, the volume of the torus is now knotted into a trefoil. So you can put a knot into a thick loop if you can carefully cut it in half the long way. Can you do this with a rubber band? Surprisingly, yes. I'll show you with this one. Its cross section is round, so I can do it more symmetrically, but the idea works in principle with any rubber band. As a guide, I'm marking three spots along the circumference where the cut will go in vertically in the front and come out the back. I'll also mark halfway between these spots where the cut should be horizontal. Between them, there's twists. Now with a sharp knife, I'll start the cut, then carefully make the twisting cut that goes through these guide marks. I'm holding the knife in a vise, so I have two hands to aim the rubber band. I'll do one third, then turn it over, do the second third, then turn it over for the final third. And remember, the knife is sharp, and the human body is basically a torus, so be careful not to cut yourself into a knot. Here you have it, a loop transformed into a trefoil. By my rules, you can knot a rubber band. It's really weird for many people to accept. People just assume I cheated by snipping and gluing the ends together somewhere. But that's not how I cheated. If you want to try this with a real rubber band, I suggest you first get familiar with a three halves twist paper Mobius strip. Then try a bagel to understand the trajectory of the cuts before dealing with the thinness of the rubber band, which adds a dexterity challenge. Cutting a paper strip is familiar to mathematicians at least, but there's a sense of mystery when you cut a band which was not prepared with twists. And there's a deeper lesson here too. Don't let your knowledge of mathematics artificially limit what you think is physically possible. Quite to the contrary, Mathematics is a tool which can empower us to do amazing things that no one has ever done before, like making a knotted rubber band bracelet.